it's valuable, but the timing could be atrocious. Look at this. Uh-huh. Nookie might have just threaded the needle so perfectly here, and he has. They have no idea that he is going to have the perfect positioning on this, and they know everything that's coming their way. Lau's going to die? They had every bit of info on that, <laughs> and Nookie. somehow it's gone terribly wrong. Spike down B. Spike will fall, but right now, Heretics actually you have the two members. Well, this is still three strong, and they've got a little bit of control. Actually, Rabino trying to backpedal all the way back towards spawn. Actually, Spike making his way all the way back over towards a site. 20 seconds Great read. left on the clock here. Yeah, and Avova seems to have a decent idea. Really good read from Avova. He's given himself a chance, and it's a slender one at the very most. However, going to take a quick lamp's position. The Molly a little further ahead. He's got one. The second evades, but look, welcome to playing Ballista. It should go. Ballista's way. They have every advantage in this. A couple of flashes committed just to secure that plant and a nice little spam through the smoke just as that wall crumbles. So this is extremely well considered thus far. Lol does well though to find one. And that's another little tick in the box for heretics. Okay, bit of damage being done. Can we now pressure this? Can we get some more guns away? Can we do some work? That's the next thing you've got to keep your eyes on here. For now, you can see the spike being toyed with. Now that might get towards halfway. They're sitting this one. And the diffuser does go down. Trades are there. Heretics have made this costly, though. Comes down to a 2v1. Nuki he has the master to deal with. going to try and grab a Spectre. But again, it's economy One damage at this remaining. point. Unless he can find this last kill. Actually, it's just going to tick down to the last. For the spike plant, this is gorgeous work from Ballista. This is Phoenix in fine form, and I'm happy to be seeing it in Europe. Take flight. Finally. Finally seeing it in Europe, Lauren. There's now Ballista at five. We'll reset back. And hold on to this in the post one, but Heretic's still four strong. Again, that clock is ticking right now. Yuki's gonna try and tap the defuse. That's gonna be. Oh. How did he get that kill? Low. The poor actually gonna trade back up. They're gonna invest the res as well. Ballista are madly aggressive. They are fighting the post plant. Something that was brought up before that I'll touch on is Karemi. He's still trying to isolate the fights. He loses them eventually. Down he goes. Defuse should be well timed. But again, if you watch those flashes coming out from Phoenix, Spike now planted, the site is theirs. They can just create these corners. They leave Rubino unchecked. Now he will find Kareme and now instantly look towards Long. But there's plenty of problems on the site. Baddy G being one of them. Still a flash to play with Wall as well. He's got options if he needs and knows there's one there. He doesn't go to the flash. He knows Omen's around, but now vision removed. Swung on, trade comes out. Great work from Avova. Not going to let that one slip. Now this post plant. They've got a sheriff still in, and they actually let contact been taken by the rifle, leaving Rubino left in the 1v1, and the sound. He knows he's done enough to force him off. That is so well done. He didn't instantly peek with it. No, he knows that audio cue is enough to force Rubino in a bad scenario. That's not halfway, Rubino. You know this round is all but done for. You might get the kill, though, bullets. Oh, I'm looking for is to try and catch them in no man's land, but let's see how it goes. Flashes come through the initial from the Phoenix, the deeper from the sky, Nookie. but Nookie's found too. That's great play from Nookie. Now, this response from him is perfect. Now, last time we said Nisao had to be a big player. This time, Nookie is well and truly up for a lull. Hold Holds a more passive angle, but the perfect one to catch that sight cross as Baddy G goes down. Nothing more to... Rock ticking away though. 30 seconds here. Baddy's actually going to find Pora. That's a huge kill before the spike even goes down. Put them in a 4v5. No 30 seconds left. So keep your eyes on how aggressive Ballista still stand. This three-play crossfire set towards kind of lamps here is still pretty aggressively leaning. Maybe contact on towards Baddy G and then the swing from the Rays. Let's see how it goes down. That looks as though that's the case. No threat found there. And there are three quick kills in succession and... Once again, Ballista look very comfortable here. Rubino and Nuki. Nuki's been wonderful in these scenarios. They need Rubino to get a couple here as well. Flash forces him away for a second. Second to follow. And now Baddy G going to take the first fight. And look at that man. Sharp as hell. That is a brilliant side take. A well-considered post plant. All out aggressive pushes from Ballista. QXV now going to pop the showstopper. Again, where we see it. The zoning ult, low backs all the way up. Nuki will find a kill on the flank. That's a very quick flank, actually. Find him awful all the way here. Baddy gonna pop through though, finds a kill onto triple. Bowl finds a second, low will fall. I, I mean, and then they're not they're not stopping. They continue this pressure. This is something you cannot ignore with them. They give you no smate, like space at all, smothering you from the start. Now Nuki has been great at doing what he can, but the conversions to rounds, he's still in the 2v4 here. Of over by his side, starts to make some sort of presence and some sort of progress, but the crossfires are sublime. This is true. Once again from Rabina all the way back in spawn. Of over will convert that onto QXV and lamps. Again. Get the spike down pretty clean here. Find themselves. Actually, I was going to say 4v5, but Lowell finds a second. Bold will fall. 
Baddy G now going to try and contest inside. It actually catches a Rover with a smoking hand. Just, uh, who expects someone to push in the slow? I mean, Baddy G's going to be there. That smoke's going to dissipate soon. Okay, this post plant's tricky. They need to maybe take some space. It looks like Baddy G wants to get that for them. But the trade comes out effectively and Baddy G is dead. Just more for left alive. No a way to get around it here. Spike has plenty of time on it. Diffuse comes out. And they were unable to make that similar stand towards Lamps. They were unable to take that space in the post plant they were given before. By the time Baddy G tried to make that play, his ace is fallen once again. Well, they're, they're fighting this. Yeah. First time we're seeing the fight on it, and it's just a mad spray. If over lands it on Baddy G, you'll, you'll take that every day of the week, but Bolt now has to check again. It's so sharp, and now the Seekers come out. There's no way that oh the Nuki gets word. away from it. That was just relentless aggression again, taking over B-Long off the back of Bolt's utility work being poorer. perfect. It did. The last one didn't get destroyed. It actually reveals Pora's position again. Not going to matter too much. Lowell going to rejoin him now over towards Elbow. And this wall down, it's, it's going to eat up so much time. The heretics here going to try and break it initially. That's a 4v2 for Ballista here. One enemy remaining. <laughs> it's, this ain't slipping. Lol can put up some numbers, but the trades are always going to be wow. effective. 9 to 3. This has been a lesson. I think this is very much, hey, Polish team. Heretics might lean into this a little too hard. Avova's in a weird position. Uh, Bold and Avova just kind of trading out kills there, but Avova has taken control. Morphin's alone, but the fast flank's now going to lose its form. But Morphin's aim is sharp as well. These boys have been putting in their hours, but Nuki still always deadly, still a threat. Now that fast flank couldn't come through. They've had to go around the long way. Heretics take side control of the back of Nuki, and they needed a player to step up, and it might just be Nuki, but Baddy G's still alive. You don't go around without saying this man's name, but Pora beats him to the punch. Again, the buy should be substantially better for heretics but it doesn't mean there's not danger and nookie's got to play this one a little cautiously to an extent as oh, because this is a problem no one checked on morfan who's once again tucked in that corner yes he gets found by Pora, but it is still a 2v3 on the site itself you did have sky leaning this way but seems to have doubled back towards a now i'm gonna try and wait out qxv inside tube here but i'm gonna say rubino actually potentially giving him a 1v1 he will win out Ali G now in elbow. Bold making his way back through the defensive spawn. A difficult retake here. Ali G has got his hands on a spectre. See what he can get done here. They've got both of their flashes still up. There's one. Oh, that was one player blind. Rubino still okay. Ali G on the swing, but takes damage. 21 HP for the spam. No, lol. We'll keep this safe. But there was a threat there, and that was a very on B side. Over, oh, poor actually slips through. He's gonna find that first kill. Now exactly. oh, that's nice. Now here we go. Cipher gonna reveal information. Morphin probably not happy about this. Neither is Baddy G, and they can get aggressive. They, he could just post this and hope for the best, and he finds Baddy G. That's excellent. That's another ultimate remove. Sky had hers, but I'm yet to see that come into play. It might be out and about right now. It is. Seekers are going through on this, and a quick play right back in. But Ballista trying to take the fight, but Heretics have the greater numbers, and now a one v three and. Use. QXV deep towards that CT side. A freebie what? on Pora. The Tracer Fire gave it away. Absolutely gave it away. And now the smoke might give him a little bit of a lurk here, but it would be two people facing. Time beginning to dwindle. He's got to make his move and make it correctly. In we go. No clean fight. Really well played to Herrix for Heretic as well. Gets quickly taken away. Spamming on so the side, but receives play. more damage. Yeah, it, down to 50 HP now. So. Once again, this retake better be well considered, and it's all just from CT and kind of the bend on this. I, I'm not sure what the plan is here. You have the showstopper and the orbital strike, but that's a yeah. The showstopper will get invested, but Pora immediately shuts it down. A two for one trade, three for one now, four for one. If over finds another last man standing, will be Karemi. And uh, yeah, I, I'm absolutely with you. With to have the operator invested there, sat in hell. Force heretics to pretty much commit here. The seekers come through. Gonna give all the information across. They've invested heavily into this round though, and here come the other investments on the other side. At least gets one as he goes down. But lol finding QXV, not saying XQC is super difficult, by the way, <laughs> has actually been Im incredibly important. It keeps a big advantage, or at least maybe a, a value to this round going on. You can see heretics. Okay, get moving. Now, Baddy G, he's not backing away from anything. Using the ultimate's going to reveal a whole lot of information. Lol is there. Spike is planted. It's bought them a little bit of time. Now, Morfang can clear through Hooker and say, no one is here. 
might be able to get a good look towards site and then again process of elimination they've got to be dedicated either towards you know insight itself or maybe towards long but they've got to get clearing and pretty darn fast there you can see actually I guess I do. They still have the wall. Actually, the first shock dart going to do a little bit of damage, but it doesn't follow up. And they've got the half already, Lauren. Heretics they've got to gonna... pressure something, though. They've yeah. got to get moving. They've got to take a gamble and take one of these two fights. Otherwise, they lose this. And you can see Baddie G is trying to do that desperately. But no, oh. lol's denied it all. Morfan finally comes out, but He's I think time money. is gone. He's going to sit on this one. Where is Rubino? Where is Rubino? He just about comes around. He gets the round for Heretics, but that was fun. Initial pick. They've taken second. They've paused for thought. I want to see what that cipher gets up to. I'm kind of interested to see what Pora is going to do with this. Maybe just try and find some fact finding or just ensure that no one goes walkabouts for free info. Maybe even just a good lurk. Who knows? But for now, I said time dwindling. Just going to apply the pressure. Does go down. So that could be almost a misread of information. Or they're like, okay, well, we know it's Pora. The site hit's going to be towards B. And it definitely is. That's a mistake from Karemi to be wide out in the open. Gets caught as the smoke dissipates. Ultimate comes in by some time. 30 seconds left. He managed to stabilize though. Spike still needs to go down. 25 seconds left on the clock, and Heretics still have total side control here. Nuki just actually a little sniff towards spawn there. There's a little bit of damage. Let's see, they come through and contest this. As the spike goes down, Nuki falls. Baddy G will find that kill. QXV finds a second. Okay, Rubino on the site and Avova, where he's, go he's going around the world. Avova is in such a good position that, that we Baddy G expected it for a second. Oh, but Avova! And now the 1v1, he's sitting this. He's, he's still sitting this. No He's way. not got off the diffuse. Oh my god! He's actually just sat this one! Oh my god. Again, just nothing gained off this. I love everyone. More fans been found. And this is just a weird round. This is like deathmatch. They are taking fights in the craziest places. Yes, they force some ultimates. But Nookie's taking some space. Now he's got a clean fight. Well, initially had a clean fight towards that CT side. Out does bold every day of the week on this. Now looking like he just wants to take space for his team. He is trailblazing a path to allow that plant to come in. He even finds QXV on this. Nade goes down. This is excellent play from Nookie. Again, I cannot say this enough. You've seen aggression elsewhere. Okay, I'm going to go take showers and I'm going to go take the... Yeah, Ballista struggling. Yeah, struggling to make this work on defense. And look, this is this is why you've got to say Heretics are a very well-rounded team. They got absolutely destroyed on the first half. They've come back, and they had the perfect default to account to this. We've, we've already accredited them with the ability to hit the rotate. Well, Vova giving away the position, the readjustment, but Bull didn't know it. I don't know if QXV wasn't able to translate that quick enough to relay that information fast enough, but now there's a problem. This is going to be Baddy G in the right place at the right time, and he needs one of those big performances we've seen him with before. But QXV goes down, and now Nuki's got his ult. Might just send it at some point. He's got 6 HP, so just maybe clearing heaven through towards CT. Let's see. It is going to be towards CT. No one on the receiving end. They've got 13 seconds here. It's still a 3v3. Spike is getting planted. Good work from them. But now let's look at these post plant scenarios. Zol's got one. Nuki's got the other. And it all comes down to Kareme now in a 1v3. He's going to get the first. But there was a res, so it's still a 1v3. And this is map point here. Ult's being popped, another isolated, but Rubino's had... It's perfect to come back and check it, because he catches all this information in the push. Yeah, but he's also just caught a boatload of utility, and we do have a little bit more explosive element to this now, with Jet kind of coupled into this one, but Heretics right there with it. And I say Heretics, Avova just finding a double out of nowhere. And it looks like they're going to fight fire with fire. This is a messy, chaotic round without UI. Hopefully we can get that one on, unless my brain's just missing it. Um, it does look like we are down to just, well, bold at this position. Tries to bait it out, faking the plant. Let's look towards heaven. Seeing a gun barrel at the very least, and that HP is going to be a big problem for him. Let's see. Let's have the spike so he could potentially plant us. I'm not sure of utility available to really stop this from happening. Oh, just trying to tap it out. Rubino only has the rig. <gasps> He just caught a glimpse of him there. He's going to fire the recon down. There's a little bit of a distraction. Drops, picks up the kill. Again, old, very low HP, so very difficult for him this way. Poor Ads, he's going to creep around. He does, and Baddy's going to find it. There's a second player stacked up behind default. It's Nuki. He's going to swing and find one in return. UXV really wanted to get that kill as soon as he could. Now, Nuki's still being a problem. He should be overwhelmed now, but he could have been a bigger threat. They've had to invest a fair amount to get rid of him on this, which Wait. might make that post a little weaker. First... I almost missed that. The round two seekers coming out of bold. Yeah. So 
building up early in this lol tries to get ahead but now in no man's land still gets bailed out by rubino nice work from him but you can see the crossfire still holds nothing yet to disrupt this between the jet and kill joy Karemin probably first contact and then the swing from jet no tucks it the other way around which could have been maybe better handled if over undoes it that was the more favorable fight for him he's happy on that retake if he gets a clean fight that mad tp he actually makes it out of this if over still alive and a problem but no <gasps> He's just so snappy today. The adjustment's sick. And now BSD are in trouble. You can see them now being piled in on just being chipped away out the push towards the side. Bad G's seen it, but by now it's still going to be effective. The flash comes in, isolates one, but it's Nookie still good for two. And you can see Baddie G with it all to do in front of him and no leg to stand on. Just stunning play from Heretics and Nookie as well. Yeah. Yeah, Baddy actually... Uh All too aware, Jet is in, the flash comes out. You can see the idea here. <laughs> On the back of the peak, they get the flash going to try and force that fight to be favorable, but once again, Nookie no, says no! Three huge kills. Baddy G down. QXV down. That has been incredible, impeccable impact once again by Nookie. I guess too dedicated here? Let's see if there's going to be any more. Oh, it gets a freebie. Just the fade away towards... QXV, the ultimate comes out. Nookie is not afraid by any margin. This man is standing and he will not relent. He pushes further forward. Vanny G, yeah, makes it towards the side, but now he's surrounded, tries to make more from it. Gets down lol, so absolutely no fear. It's really tricky to keep being, you know, as I said, in their face. Now they finally... They finally had almost a clean sight take, but then here we go. Already one's gone down. Baddy G going to try and make some space here, but the flash, they're all too aware. They're sitting anti-flash. They're sitting deep on this poor, even expecting where Baddy G was going to be on the swing back through and Rubino, Nookie on the flank. This is again good work, but Balls re-aggresses. They sent in one. It wasn't good enough. They doubled down on it, but it's Nookie. And Nookie, expect the double dip on aggression, right? But Nookie's like, you going to check on me? You will, but I'll still win. And Nookie can't quite convert on towards a second. But again, look, Heretics are playing a very brazen game of Valorant. She's still holding on to this. Baddy G just walks up dry peaks. Baddy G's been literally healed for a, what seems like 200 HP this round. Back up to 99 now. Over on the flank, actually. Comes through fine Morphin. Still doable here if Rubino can find some value from spawn side. Last player standing. Here we go. No, actually, Karemi going to shut that down. The flash comes through. Rubino has to turn for it, but still gets the headshot. Bold falls now. 1v2 for Rubino. <laughs> Rubino knows how to turn a flash or two, but he can't get past <laughs> Baddy G. So, for now. Find themselves some more success on A once again. Oh, what? That, that nade's going to... Baddy G. He just what? walked it. He just walked it. He just walked straight on through. Again, I, I've not seen players being this... Uh, <laughs> It's so unorthodox. Just, it, it really is. This is very much um, hyper-aggression as expected, but it's the confidence behind it. It's full commitment to it. It's no halfway markers here, but it's a 3v2. Rubino trying to work on in, but again, they are still in a little bit of a spot of bother as Rubino, of course, is working with slightly less now. Bold still very much allowing his position to be the one to be fought. Rubino will get the first check on it for free, and the spike's um, not planted. Now, that's an issue. Good trade for you know, one of the players coming in, but this is now a 1v2. Yes, Pora is low, but they've made a bit of a mounting out of a molehill here, and Pora can get an individual fight, a 1v1, untradeable. No. Oh, my God. <sighs> These rounds are too close. Too close. Still held down W to try and get as deep as he could on this one. Now, I don't know if he actually really saw Rubino there, so I'm not sure what information they have, but the report of this good find from Bald there, that's a big piece of info to be found. I see the smoke comes through, potentially allowing Bold to flash, but he chooses not to. They're going to hold strong for the time being. Heretic's caught ticking away here, and they have to retake mid. Look at the setup. Ballista here, Lowell going to find QXV. Morphin backside adds to a big swing and a miss here, and the kill's going in favor of Heretic's. Yeah, that was a bit of a whiff, and Baddy G's going to have to go deep on this one. Oh, the, the swing's not going to happen against Nookie there. You're not going to get away with it. Puts down the molly. Don't know if it bought enough time. Players down middle right now. You've got a three-play mid-push. Nookie just found Bolt, so that's going to, if anything, spur this on. And they want to try and get a little pace to it. Of over so aware and so on point. Whoa. The dig, but Ovova outdid him! Ovova! This aim today! And look at the numbers now. It's a 4v2. And yes, Nuki finds Kareme in the back. If you're going to go for it, you got to double down almost. There's now more fan left in a 1v4. And Heretics 
all too aware of the nonsense that Ballista are trying to get up to, it seems. Doesn't fly this time around. It's gonna reveal his position, has to deal with the trap wire there. Spike planted on eight. Vicky just creeps up behind another. Up They're pushing to take this orb, but Heretic's once again set up to deal with this aggression. First kill comes through. Actually, a two for two trade here. Spike's still stuck over towards A lobby. Rubino maybe anticipating some aggression on the other side of the map, but more fan will find Hora. All trades out. Now comes down to a 2v2. It's quite an interesting way to approach this. Excuse me, one below in hell, one towards heaven. Rubino, first to take a fight. That's gonna be bold. That was the lower HP player of the two. Rema gets a favorable fight on one below, instantly on the swing. Very yeah. well controlled in the end. Went into kind of, okay, we're, we're going into smart mode. Uh, Five nice. now, so. Oh, 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 what a flash! Oh, what a flash! Oh, that's incredible! Three huge kills off the back of one flash, just takes the fight. But Morphan swings out to close it. And hey, it's a round. It's a round. Get challenged. Actually, that's, uh, that's a little weird. Usually, would have seen somebody at least peek onto this, try and get a cheeky kill before the spike goes down. Okay, there's the run it back popped. That's immediately shut down and over will find QXV on top of that and another Karemi falls. One oh, this is perfect remaining. from Heretic, so they, they've been able to slice this right through. Morfan wants to do it again. You only get it once. Aboba's had enough of that. The oh, Karemi all the way over to see site to join Bold. We'll find a kill. That flash actually not landing anything. Nuki actually playing perfectly. Anti flash onto that one and comes out on top of it this time, but again, Karemi swings. We'll find another Aura finally trades out. No more meddling. Morfan's turned up in time, though. One oh, that shot is Five just enemies. filth. Lol surrounded, and maybe this is the return. Ballista waking up. Here we go. We've got it. We've got a bit of a. All right. Actually, Aldo, I'm going to find nothing into a bit. Actually, poor. Oh, so well, well equipped. Yet yeah, we'll find the first two QXV will trade out. But the damage already done. Yeah, and look at this progress. It's just fast. They know that there's a bit of a flank coming on, or at least one player left towards it. Instantly take that side control. Spike goes down. Okay, sorted. Now, post plant in <laughs> was a two v three. Now a two v four. That gets a little bit tougher. QXV. Not going to be the first to get the contact. It will be Kareme. Rubino just wins out in this. Now the 1v4. UXV, the chances are extraordinarily slim. No one's giving opportunities. They've got that crossfire in breath here going, come on, dude. Make this, make it work. Make us look good here. And it's the first time. Baddy G, I mean, there's being bold and there's just walking straight mid. Now there we go. QXV does connect towards Nuki, but will lose out on that peak towards middle now unless he re-clears it. Morphan gets checked on this time. Heretics are uh, starting to really go through the motions here. They're not letting them get away with the same sort of scenario, but Bald's taking so much space. Look how trapped in he is. They yeah, popped the Seekers there, so all this information should have gone across. I'm not sure why... Why is Killjoy still... Yeah. I'm sure if it was dealt with so early that they don't want to read too heavily into where those Seekers went, but... Both are going to pop the TP behind Platt. This is open for the take. And over, yeah, it deals with Bold at the end of long as well. A really good TP considering he, they knew roughly where Bold yeah. was after the sprays. The TP there gives him a favorable fight. Otherwise, that cross through garage would have been so disastrous. Deadly. Now, popping the ult here, QXV, we're feeling a little... Well, it's really silly, but it's it's feeling kind of bad because you've got to back away from this now. There is no doubling down. You've got a lot of you know, guns and weaponry to take through to that next round, and this has been won out by some really good play. I've got to give credit there to Evova for this one. Yeah, for sure. So, um, that's a perfect read on it. I'm going to save these weapons across. I mean, it would be difficult if we could take a quick look at the economy coming back into this, but... I'm going to put Heretics on map and series point. QX3's, again, ultimate not available. Morfan has his. Remy also has the lockdown, which I'm... They want to secure some of these avenues of approach. This is probably a good idea, but finally, Killjoy gets to come in on the map to... Uh oh That's scary time. Suddenly, Ballista comes online with three quick kills, and Heretics have lost all that side progression that they once had. Nuki tries to fight back in with a wild spray to the second, doesn't get it, but there's a retake coming through. 
Finally, we said we were waiting to see Karel. Unlikely you'd go to it, especially between OT and going to the full Five way in this. Nuki has found Baddy G, but it's a 2 for one trade out, but Heretics have yet to progress towards the site because there's a stack here, keep in mind. You've still got Morphan around. You still have that Killjoy up as well towards Hell, and now you've got Sky coming on over. Jet's finally leaning this way, but they have no information on the rest of the map, but neither do the Heretics. Now they've hit the brakes and allowed Nuki to work, and he's found one. Sky's now dead. The ultimate just goes by. Doesn't quite find the target, but more fans readjust here. Should have this all under control, unless Pora does something unthinkable. A 1v3. 40 seconds is a lot of time to play with. Wow, my eyes are down. Camera's now down. <laughs> How many times? What do? How many times have we seen it, though? <laughs> 30 seconds got, left. Still stacked on A. All three of them. You, you kind of have to respect it. You've got, you've got numbers to play retake. But this gives him freedom. He doesn't know this. Pora doesn't know how much freedom he has to readjust it. If he can cross through this, we'll get one on the way. No, okay. Pora's lost that chance. Jet now moves in, finds one. He knows Jet's on top and one still over towards that kind of connector side. Pora can potentially win this unless they double face. Oh, he gambles in. Kareme just finds the right place. It looks like OT is on the cards. Good stuff from Blister there. And have to be that same role that Nisal was previously. Fight fire with fire. Really put up a fight against the Ballista aggression. He's absolutely delivered. This is going to give Heretic free reign to set up as they wish. Look how long Lowell holds onto the wall there. Actually, it manages to reinforce behind the smoke. So, again, more time. A triple flank coming through from Ballista. He finds the first, but Baddy trades. It's a little scary post-plant. Considering they've got players stuck towards sewer and then stuck towards a kind of corner on site, this can get a little bit disastrous. Baddie. And Baddy G's making like work of it. Swatted out the cipher, but Pora does well. Finds Morphan, and there's Lowell holding on. This looks like it's all.